Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Manor with Apostle Julian. Jesus is Lord. What a morning. This is the day that the Lord has met, and surely we are going to be glad and rejoice in it. We are in a good season of our prayer and fasting. I want you to join in. I want you to participate. I want you to listen for the midnight amen prayer we had last night with Pastor Timothy. You don't want to miss the invitation. You don't want to miss the intensity of prayer in Jesus' name. This morning, we are just going to talk about stay awake. It is God's desire that as his children, we keep awake. It is God's desire that as his children, we keep awake in this realm of the spirit. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this morning. We give you honor, give you praise. We say thanks be unto God who always causes us to try him in Christ Jesus. Thank you for life. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you for all the good things you have done in our lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you for the blood. Thank you for the cross. For now we are the children of God. Partakers and participators of your divine nature. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I entitled my message, Stay Awake. If I was somebody under the sound of my voice, I want you to type with me that we have to stay awake. It is important for us to stay awake in the realm of the spirit. Because while we sleep, things happen. And while we are awake, things also happen. So it is important for us to be attentive so that we can enjoy the benefits of our salvation. So that we can go to the next level in our lives. I want you to tell you, see you, make you see dangers of sleeping. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have to stay awake. The Bible tells, awake all you who sleep. If we are sleeping in any area of our lives, in the realm of the spirit, we need to make sure that we are awake. We need to make sure that we are watchful and we are alert in our spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. First Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. We'll put ESV version. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 36 says, Wake up from your drunken stupor, as is right, and do not go on sinning, for some have no knowledge of God. I say this to, sh this to shame to your shame. If you remain sleep, if we remain in a state of slumber, we we'll end up living in life of sin. Thank you, men of God. If we are in slumber, if we are in sleep, we end up being not in the right state. We end up being in sin. We end up being backsliding. What am I saying this morning? We need to keep awake so that we cannot backslide. We need to pick our work so that we can continue in the work of the ministry. We need to keep our work so that we can be the real ambassadors of Christ. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. The Bible tells us, hallelujah, for anything has become visible is life. Therefore, it says, awake all sleeper, arise from the dead and Christ will shine on you as a believer. Christ wants to shine on you. So it is important for you and me to keep awake because you are the light of the world. The word tells us a city on the hill cannot be hidden, but for your light soul to shine, for light to influence other people, you need to keep awake. So it is important as a mother, as a father, as a child that we keep awake. We want to pray for ourselves that we will not be lukewarm. We will keep awake in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If you are awake, you are watchful. You see all danger coming your way. It is important that you know we become watchful as believers so we keep out of danger. Yes, staying awake will keep you out of spiritual danger. When you are sleeping, Things happen while you're sleeping. Yesterday, we can't emphasize enough. I told you about the two women who were hallowed. While they sleep, one of them slept on the child. While they sleep, the other one stole. The child was stolen by the other. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of God to Acts chapter 20, verse 9 to 12. 
Acts chapter 20, verse 9 to 12. That's why we need to stay awake. And it says, and a young man named F- Atticus, sitting at the window, sank into a deep sleep as Paul talked, still longer, and being overcome by sleep, he fell down from the third story and he was taken up dead. Hallelujah. He fell down while he was sleeping. And you know what? He was sleeping when the man of God was preaching. The man of God was preaching. He was sleeping. But Paul went down and bent over him and took him in his arm and said, Do not be alarmed, for his life is in him. Let's go on. Verse 11 and 12. Hallelujah. And when Paul had gone up and had broken bread and eaten, he conveyed with them long a while until daybreak. And so he departed. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And they took the youth away alive and were not a little comforted. Hallelujah. What am I saying this morning? The young man was sleeping while the man of God was ministering. Yes, it happens in the, in, in the church today. Yes, physical sleep in church and also just lumber. You know, the spirit of slumber, it catches. We no longer have the appetite for the word of God. No longer have the appetite for the things of God. I want to pray for somebody under the sound of my voice that we have to stay awake. There are, there are benefits of us staying awake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we refuse not to hear when the word is being spoken. The Bible says they will spirit the words I speak to you, their spirit and their life. And this Bible tells us his word will also quicken our mortal body. The Bible says his word is like a two-edged sword. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. Piercing to the bone on to, to the bone and even to the bone marrow. What am I saying? We have to keep awake so that the word of God can be of effect in our lives. We don't want to fall dead in the realm of the spirit. We don't want to fall dead physically because you've lost the appetite for the things of God. Stay awake when it's things time for things of God. When it's time for church to see God, to worship, worship with others, to hear the word of God, expose yourself to the ministry of the word of God. Pray for your spirit that it can be excited in the in the in the in the in the, in the things of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to to Joshua chapter 4 verse 17 to 21. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If you are sleeping, you can die in strange places. Hallelujah. He says, so Joshua commanded the priest come up out of Jordan Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And when the priest bearing the ark of the covenant of the Lord came up from the midst of Jordan and to the sole of the priest's feet were lifted up and on dry ground and water of the Jordan returned to their place and overflowed all the banks as before. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The people came up out of the Jordan. On the tenth day of the fifth month, and they encompassed at Gilgal, on the east of the border of Jericho. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And those twelve stones, and those twelve stones which they took out of Jordan, Joshua set up at Gilgal. Hallelujah. And he said to the people of Israel, When your children ask their father in the times to come, what do these stones mean? Let's go on. Hallelujah. Then you shall tell the children, Israel passed over this Jordan on dry ground. It passed over this Jordan on dry ground. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Israel passed over on this I mean, I mean, ground. It was like a memorial which they put on. Let's go to the next version, verse in the name of the Lord Jesus for the Lord your God dried up the water of Jordan for you until you pass over as the Lord your God did in the Red Sea 
which he dried until he passed over. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It was a memorial. It was a testimony. It was something which happened when they were crossing over. God made a way to them and they left a memorial for their children to see. You know, when they were crossing over the, the, the dry, the dry, the dry Jordan. Let's go back. What way had they crossed before? Remember, before they crossed Jordan, they had crossed the Red Sea. And remember, other people perished in the Red Sea. Those who didn't know God, they perished within the Red Sea. Remember, because when the children of Israel were passing, the seas were closing and the chariot of the, of the enemy, the chariot you know, of the enemy was taken by water. You know, when you're not alert, when you don't know what's supposed to be happening in the realm of the spirit, destruction can come our way. I can imagine other children, you know, you know of the promise, other children of Israel who had stood with the enemy who thought we want to see when they go over who also try to start to go in the water when they were mixed with the enemy i'm sure they didn't cross over today if you're under the sound of my voice let's stay awake when instruction come from jehovah we take them as they come when instruction come from the lord we follow as they come in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ oh we want to say in our lives we will keep a letter as we are later we will take the instruction of god we will do what is supposed to be done at a particular time hallelujah let's go to judges chapter 16 verse 20 judges chapter 16 verse 20 glory to jesus hallelujah judges chapter 16 hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah let me just hallelujah glory to jesus say glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, and she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he woke up from his sleep and said, I will go out as at another time and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. Remember, Samson was sleeping on Delilah. And she thought, I used to have strength. I'm this powerful pastor. I'm this powerful praise and worship. I'm this powerful singer. I'm this powerful evangelism. Evangelist, put back the scripture, pastor. And you know, they say, and he, she said, the Philistines are against you, Samson. And he woke up. The key word there is say, he woke up from his sleep and said, Hallelujah. My beloved, in the work of the ministry, we need to stay awake. The moment we sleep, the advantage comes, the devil comes and takes um, advantage. You know, he woke up from his sleep and said, I will go out at the other time and shake myself free. But the Lord, he did not know that the Lord had departed from me. Let's go to verse 21. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And the Philistine seized him and gorged out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with bronze of circle and he ground he ground at the mill in the prison hallelujah let's go on men of god hallelujah but the hair of the hair of the head began to grow again after it has been shaved glory to jesus amen thank you men of god the man of god samson his hair you know was cut when he was sleeping on the laps of Delilah. I want to speak to believers. Yes, we are born again. Yes, you are powerful. Yes, I've got strength. But whose lips are you sleeping on? We want to come against fornication. If you are married, why men keep your husband? If you are married, wife keep your wife. If you are youth, stop sleeping around. Don't behave like a wife while you are still not married. Why? Because your strength will be taken away. Your strength will be taken away. We have to walk care why he was sleeping on the laps of Delilah. Today I want to speak to us, those under the sound of my voice, who is your Delilah? Who's Whose lips are you are you taking a nap on? While you are napping, they are cutting your hair. They are taking your strength. They are taking your power. Oh, glory to Jesus. Today, stay awake. They can see you at work, but they want to frame you. They can see you walking. They want to frame your marriage. It can be a pleasure for a minute, but it will take your destiny. It will take your eyes. When she was sleeping, 
he was sleeping. Power was taken. And the Philistines wanted to destroy him. They gushed out his eyes and they put him in prison. The Bible says the thief came at dust to, to kill, to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that he might have life and everything is full. Today, if you under the sound of my voice, we want to repent for those for those Delilahs who were allowed that we can lie on their, on their lips. The Delilahs, you know, of, of, of pornography. The Delilah of just just doing all the other things that they don't see me I can do it my brother my sister your strength is paralyzed you won't be effective as you used to be you could be a mighty singer but if you do those secret sins your strength is paralyzed we want to pray that God this morning help us that we keep awake so that the Delilah won't shave our heads and give us to our enemies if any of us has been given out to our enemies because of what we do because of the hedge you have broken we want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that let the hedge be restored let the hedge be restored in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ oh hallelujah hallelujah stay awake and avoid destruction stay awake and avoid that they will destroy you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ at work stay awake in that project stay awake as you travel stay awake in your family stay awake all the moment let's be vigilant and awake in the realm of the spirit oh glory to Jesus glory to Jesus hallelujah let's be kept awake let's be kept awake oh glory to Jesus hallelujah if we go to the New Testament while the Lord Jesus Christ was praying it was a, a critical time when he was about to go you know to be crucified in Gethsemane and you went with his disciples Peter, James, and John, he was disappointed because they fell asleep. They fell, they slept. You know, hallelujah. You know, they could not tarry. They could not tarry. The Bible says, he said, why can't you tarry with me just for one hour? Hallelujah. He was busy, awake, groaning, praying, but they fell asleep. What am I saying this morning? There are seasons for us to groan together. There are seasons for us to pray. The Lord Jesus showed us a way that when situations are coming, when there are seasons, when there are time for our next level, we need to groan in the spirit. We need to pray together so that we can have victory. We need to pray together so that victory can be certain in our path. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there are seasons to keep awake so that you can defeat the enemy of your soul so that you can defeat the, the enemy of your spirit so that the will of God can be done the Lord Jesus cried he was praying he was agonizing the Bible says he prayed and even tears of blood came out of him he was sweating blood oh what a level of prayer but other people around him were sleeping but it was for him to fulfill the call it was for him for you and me to be born again today if you're under the sound of my voice stay awake stay awake so that the will of God can be done when he was done his mission he said it is finished when he was done his mission he fulfilled what was written on him because he was alert in the realm of the spirit Oh, glory to Jesus. Maseka Tala Mahaya. I want to encourage all of us this morning that we have to stay awake. We have to stay awake. It's a prerequisite. It's a mandatory requisite. It's, a, it's mandatory for us to be victorious, for us to be victorious in the realm of the spirit. Oh, glory to Jesus. There is an awakening. There is an awakening which we need. There is an awakening which I need. There is an awakening which you must have continually. Let's go to Mark chapter 13 verse 33 and verse 35 and 37. It says, be on guard, keep awake for you do not know when the time will come. Be at guard, keep awake for you do not know when the time will come. Be at guard, keep awake for you do not know when the time will come. Let's go to verse 34 to, to up to verse 35. It says, it is like a man going on a journey when he leaves his home and put his servant in charge, each with his workers, and command the doorkeeper to stay awake. Glory to Jesus. Therefore stay awake. Therefore stay awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or when the roster crows or in the morning. Hallelujah. 
at least he comes suddenly and find you asleep. Oh, glory. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. What I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Yes, thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. We are waiting for the soon coming king. We don't know the hour. We don't know the day. We have to be awake. There's no time to backslide. I'll go to the world. I'm just going to get an extra girlfriend. I'm just going to do something else. I will save God later. I'm still out of COVID. I'm still putting myself together. Stay awake. You don't know the hour. You don't know the day when he's coming. Be ready. The master is coming. The soon coming king is coming. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Hallelujah. You don't want to be caught or unawares. You don't want to be caught off guard. You want to be prepared always. You want to be sensitive always. You need to make sure that your life is in line with the word of God. Your life is in line with the promise of God. Hallelujah. Stay awake. Stay awake. Verse 33 on chapter 13. I want you to see how he emphasized this thing of waking up. He says, be on guard. Stay awake for you do not know the time uh, time will come. Be alert and stay awake. Let's go to verse 35. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Therefore, stay awake. Be awake and stay awake. Therefore, stay far awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come. Let's go to verse 37. Hallelujah. And what I say to you say to, 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 to you, I say to all, stay awake. This morning, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage us that we have to stay awake. Let's do what the master told us to do. We are awake and watching and doing the work of the ministry. Let's win souls. Let's make sure that we don't preach to others and we, our lives are going to be in danger. We want to pray for ourselves that Lord, preserve our lives. Preserve my life. Preserve my destiny. I want to be a work in the realm of the spirit. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. O shaliko branda shile kau zamena. Ikenso brando sila kabo da hatu minda kabendo sila binda kusaya. It says they, therefore preparing your mind for action being sober minded set your full your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Therefore, give your mind, give your mind with soberness. Give your mind, mm, your mind, be sober. Be sober minded. Set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. What am I saying this morning? Be sober minded. Let's set our minds on Christ Jesus. Let's not sleep on our salvation. Let's not give up. Your salvation is not secondary. Your salvation is that thing. The work of the ministry is that thing. Your salvation is not something which you do. Hallelujah. It's that thing. It's your life. It's any man being Christ Jesus. He is new. He is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us we have been dead to sin and alive to God. We must live alive to God. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul says, I die daily. Why? Christ must live in us. The life of God must be manifested in our lives. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6. There is a consciousness a believer must live with. The consciousness of their salvation. The consciousness that they must be awake to God. Not just the consciousness of getting new cars, claiming new houses the consciousness of keeping your salvation with all with all diligence hallelujah first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 so then let us not sleep as others do but let us keep awake and be sober let us not sleep as others do let us keep awake and be sober thank you men of God I see you being sober don't sleep be sober hallelujah soberness be excited with the things of God soberness I know when your soberness is gone when you are you have become sleep to this slumber you are a walking dead things for church don't excite you everything else excites you going to church is secondary meeting with the beloved secondary oh my sister you are 
getting lost. There must be a soberness. There must be a vigilant. I don't care if a pastor, an apostle, a teacher, an executive. Being an executive doesn't mean that God is no longer in your life. The primary call for you is you are a believer. Do the work of the ministry. Avow yourself to fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Avow yourself to celebrate with God. Enjoy the things of God. Enjoy the presence of God. Stay awake. Hallelujah. If you are awake, you enjoy fellowship. It's only a person who is in a coma. They can hear what's happening in a room, but they can't participate. Today, we come again a spiritual coma where people are in the room, but they can't participate. They're in a room, but they're just there. They can't do it. Today, we say we are coming out of spiritual coma. We are becoming alert, fully alert. When somebody is in a coma, they say they are half dead or they are half alive. They are between. They are between. But as for you, you are not local. As we read last night in the book of Revelation, when it was talking that, no, I know you. I know you. You have been a repetition. You have been a re you have got a, a, a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. You are local. Today, if you are under the sound of my voice, refuse to be lukewarm. Refuse in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You say, I will stay alert. I will stay alert in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be a person of prayer. Stay alert as you pray. Stay alert as you pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. It says, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. As you pray, we are communion. You are talking to your father. Your father is talking back to you. It's a sign. Communication is a sign of life. If somebody's dead, they can't talk. If somebody's in a coma, they can't talk. We are talking about alert and alive and awake. You have to communicate. If somebody's spirit um, is sleeping, you can say words to them. They can't respond. But as for you, you are not going to be in that state. You talk to your father. You pray. You enjoy fellowship with him. Why? Because you are spiritually alert and you want to keep alert. You want to get alert direction and instruction from him. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We need to fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Let's go to Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Romans 8 26. The Bible says, likewise the Spirit help us in our weakness for we do not how to pray as we ought but the Spirit Himself intercede for us with groaning, which are deep, which cannot be uttered by words. Stay alert. Yes, have the mingling with the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. They are groaning, which are deep, which cannot be uttered by men. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans that, you know, the Spirit searches all things. The Spirit knows the mind of God. So as you're praying in the Spirit, you are alert. You are declaring what the Word of God, what God says in our in our, in our life, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Rakabo Zantalabosa, Rabo Zika Tabahanto, Bless Sobranta, Bia Superadaka. I want us to put Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Beside this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to be awake from sleeping, for salvation is nearly more than the time you believed. I want to speak to somebody that Lord help us. We need to be earnest in you. We need to continuously in you that we keep awake in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to Luke 21 verse 35. Luke 21 verse 35. Oh, hallelujah. For it who come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. What is it says, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to expect to, to, to escape these things that are to come to pass and stand before the Son of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So that you know we can stand well before the sons of God. My brothers, my sister, life doesn't end when you retire. My brother, my sister, life doesn't end when you've got a Lamborghini. My brother, my sister, God just didn't come, you, Christ didn't come for you just to get married, have children and live a lavish life. Christ came so that you can be born again, so that you can make it to heaven, so that you can bring other people to heaven. Oh, 
Oh, Rabbi Saka, so we have to be alert doing the work of the ministry, doing the call of God in our lives. Today, I want to encourage somebody that we keep our work, we keep our lives in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we refuse to slumber. We surrender all that nothing which comes our path will make us slumber and sleep. We want to deal with every sin, everything which easily entangles us on the well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, just raise your hands with me as we close this morning. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you. Father, thank you, thank you for what you've done for us on the cross of Calvary, for the good gift of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the good things you've done for us to give us Christ Jesus. Lord, may there be illumination in our lives. May there be continuous zeal to serve you. May light flood us. May we keep awake. May we stay awake for the soon coming King. We refuse to backslide. We pray for our brothers, our sisters, our deacons our pastors, our fellow believers. Yes, we are lagging in the faith that they rise up. We speak and pray for the body of Christ that we are awake and we enjoy the fellowship of the Holy Spirit until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Good morning, saints. Have a lovely day ahead. Jesus is Lord. Amen. He want the money. He want the money. Lie alone. He want the money.